Hello, and welcome to the UT Design Makerspace Laser Cutting Training. My name is Hudson Samuels, and I'm the Vice President at the time of this recording, and I'll be walking you through this training. The first and most important step is turning on the exhaust. You can see there's a switch on the side that you need to use to turn it on. If you don't hear a loud rush of air when turning it on, there's a dial on the side that you can turn until it meets the end to where you can hear a full rush of air coming out. Next thing you'll want to do is open the Glowforge and place inside the material that you wish to cut. Here you'll see we're using a piece of wood, so it doesn't matter exactly where you place it as you'll be able to see the material on the actual uh, application where you're positioning your cut. Once your material is in, flip the switch on the back of the Glowforge to turn it on. You may notice that the nozzle inside begins to move a little bit, and this is because the device is homing itself. While you wait for this, the next thing you should do is go ahead and log into the computer here. Once you have received a passing grade on the exam, you will be able to log in. Please note that it will say laser user once you sign in. This is intentional. Wait a moment for the browser to open. You should see a little pop-up warning you not to enter any sensitive information like Discord usernames or credit cards. And once you hit OK, you're good to start. So the first thing you'll see is this list of existing designs. So you can use any of these if you would like. However, it's more likely you're going to use your own design. You can click upload at the top left and select your own custom file to upload if you would like. You can use any graphic design software that supports SVGs or PDFs like Illustrator or Inkscape. We'll go ahead and use the example at the top left of this lightning bolt. Left click the example you want to use and you'll see it pop up on the screen here. You should be able to see the material inside of the laser cutter. However, if it hasn't finished taking pictures of inside of the cutter, it may need to wait a moment. You'll see here that I'm waiting for the device to home. While you do this, go ahead and put on your Glowforge safety glasses. These will be useful later on in case you need to look at the laser while it's running. Never look at it without any PPE. First thing you need to do is select your material. At the top right, there's a select a material button. Once you click that, it'll say unidentified material. At the top, click specify material height. You'll see a list of materials, but you'll need to click enter material height. Enter the material thickness in inches and then hit submit. We're using 0.25 inches as an example here. Next, you'll need to choose the specific settings for your print. First, you can transform your image by rotating it or scaling it as needed. Next, on the left, click the image of whatever it is you're trying to cut. You'll see a lot of various options here. We do have a list of some recommended options for different types of cuts. However, we do recommend messing with the settings a little bit just to make sure you get the perfect cut. You'll notice speed is how quick the laser goes. Power is how powerful the laser is cutting. Uh, we generally recommend convert to dots for the pattern of uh, grayscale. However, you can change that if needed. And make sure you specify the amount of lines per inch and the amount of passes. You can also save a preset by clicking the plus at the top right. Or you can hit back and use an existing preset as pictured here. However, this isn't as recommended. Once you've selected the exact values that you'd like, Go ahead and click back into the center of the page. You'll see ready at the top right, and you can click the print button at the top. We aren't going to actually print for this example since the Glowforge needs some cleaning, but you should understand the general process now. Go ahead and close out the browser and sign out once you're done. Go ahead and head over to the Glowforge, turn off the Glowforge, and wait a few minutes, preferably two to five, for the air filter to completely exhaust all of the air from within the Glowforge. This will prevent any uh, particles from escaping the Glowforge. Then turn off the exhaust on the side. Once you're done, go ahead and lift the lid to the Glowforge and take out your material. This concludes the Glowforge training. Thank you for watching.